Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of uh, Lawrence Academy Screencasts. So the purpose of this screencast is to write equations in point-slope form. In front of you we have the form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So m right here, that represents the slope. And um, the value of x1 and the value of y1 make up the point. So the thing to remember is that point-slope form gives us a point and a slope, and that's what we use to graph the line. The other key that we want to keep in mind is that the values of x and y are going to be opposite of what they look like in the equation, and that's because of the minus signs here in this form. So we'll talk about that more in a second. So here we have an example, um, and we want to put this point, negative 7, 2, with the slope of negative 4 in uh, point-slope form. So let's start with the base form. It's y minus y1 equals m, which is the slope, times x minus x1. So let's start with the slope. We know what that is. It's negative 4 because it's given. So that's going to go right in here. Um, x minus uh, the 2, okay, and this was going to be over here, y minus the 7, but this is a negative 7, so it's going to turn out to be plus 7. Now remember, the value of these numbers, right, the ones in the given point, are going to be different than the values over here in the equation, because the negative sign here and here are going to change it. They're going to be opposite, all right? Now in this next example, we're given an equation in point-slope form, and we want to find the point and the slope. So let's start with the slope, m. Well, m is right here, okay? This is always going to be the position of your slope. So m is going to be 3 fourths, okay? Now let's find our point, and remember that's always going to be in the form x comma y, right? An ordered pair. Okay, and we're going to change the sign of these two points, the y value and the x value. So the x shows up as negative 1, so we know that to be 1, and the 2 shows up at negative 2, so we know that to be 2. You see here two example problems that I want you to try on your own. So I want you to graph these two problems in point-slope form. Now I know we haven't done that yet, but use what you know about the form to graph the problem. First identify the slope. Then identify the ordered pair, and with those two things, you should be able to graph it. All right, good luck.